Yo, yo, it's Weefu with the Scroll Screen. Pow! Welcome back. Yo, right guys, welcome back. Yes, two videos uploaded in 48 hours, just like the good old days. Well, you can expect a lot more uploads as we got a dreaded email from YouTube this morning, but praise the Lord, sweet baby Jesus, they accepted us back into the program so I can now take the time or the gamble to try and get the channel back to where we were. I've never been a quitter and I very rarely fail, fingers crossed. When I set my goals onto something, I don't stop until the job is finished, so stick around because the slow screen is back in business, baby. Right then, listen to this information coming from a home Alexa. Alexa supposedly states the population on Earth, Mars, and the Moon. Fire away, Alexa. What's the human population on Earth? According to the US Census Bureau, the world population today is approximately 7.91 billion. Alexa, what's the human population on Mars? Here's something I found on the web. According to worldanvil.com, today, Mars is the second largest habitable planet with a population of nearly 1.5 billion people. Alexa, what's the human population on the moon? Here's something I found on the web. According to fandom.com, currently the moon houses approximately 126 million humans and is a major exports are silver, titanium, H3, plants, and oxygen. What in the? So, pretty disturbing information there, but information for me and most of us deep down we already know. But we have to stay critical of this home Alexa, and I'm definitely not trying to sell you this off as legit information. We all know Alexa pulls in the nearest and closest information off of the web and pretty much displays this information to you by audio. This is from the World Wide Web, the web we use on a day to day basis, the censored public version of the internet. Obviously the Earth population we can call legit. When Alexa speaks about Mars, it says we got this information from worldanvil.com. There's only one major source that links you on the web to a site called worldanvil.com. And I'm not saying that this is the only site, but 9 times out of 10 you do end up back to this site. And it is a gaming platform, a civilization building, RPG world. And yes, when you type in worldanvil.com Mars, it does indeed have a planet Mars simulated world where in the gaming world, the population is rising. Is Alexa just pulling this information from this site? I can't say that it is for certain, but if you put two and two together, it more than likely is the most logical answer. But I believe that we are on Mars, we have been for a long time. Mars is habitable just like Earth is with animal life, vegetation, water etc. But when Alexa speaks of the moon's population, she pulls information from fandom.com. And after looking at fandom.com, it was formerly known as Wiki Cities before 2007. And it's a wiki hosting service which hosts mainly on entertainment topics like video games, TV series and movies etc. So once again, is Alexa just pulling up random useless information? But the moon I believe is already inhabited by humans. Operations are going on on the moon with fueling stops between Earth and Mars. And the reason it's not public information is because what is already on the moon and Mars before we got there. So the reason I've just showed you this video is because it's going crazy online at the moment. And a bit of logical information on the mind goes a long way. The internet is just turning us all into mindless zombies filling our brains with false useless information. But still, Alexa may be onto something as my suggestions are just plausible explanations. I can't prove or disprove. Moving on to the Helio viewer tour now and it seems our friend, the planet sized UFO siphoning energy from our sun is back. This time from August 23rd to August 30th. It's not as clear as my last presentation of this solar anomaly, but I do believe it's there and we can see it slightly. So it seems to be siphoning energy from the sun for 7 days exactly. That is more energy than the human mind can even conceive of. That type of energy could power our planet for 1000 years, possibly more. If these things are constructed objects, the intelligence of these things or the designers is just mind blowing. Maybe there's some type of interstellar life forms feeding.
After the birth of the James Webb Telescope, numerous images have come into public domain online. With this one image standing out a mile with eagle-eyed UFO enthusiasts pointing out this anomaly in one of the clearest images ever taken of Jupiter. Does this new web photo of Jupiter show a mothership over a thousand miles long? On July 27th, 2022, the James Webb Telescope released an image of Jupiter's great red spot using one of its infrared cameras. The image seems to contain a cylindrical shaped object floating high above Jupiter's atmosphere that appears to be more than, well, thousands of miles long. The image may back up claims of giant spacecraft recently arriving in our solar system and parking in the vicinity of Jupiter. Have a look at this strange sky phenomena. I call these abnormalities sky punch. It's almost as if something large and heavy is either shot up or down, creating this distortion in the clouds. And what no one has seemed to notice in this video is the V shape next to this anomalous display. It makes it even more bizarre. I'm telling you guys, this is not a natural display. What the hell? Just as we got the pride today. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking weird. It's for pride. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. The gays are jumping out. I've never seen that in my life. I've never seen that before. I've never seen what that. What the hell? Just as we got the pride blade down. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking weird. It's for pride. <laughs> <Double rainbow. laughs> that is amazing. The gays are jumping out. I've never seen that in my life. More strange sky phenomena now, and this was filmed in Tunisia. Have you ever seen anything like this? I'm going to leave you now with a video that came out of Alberta, Canada on August 4th of hailstone. Not just any hailstone, hailstone the size of tennis balls. Now just imagine if you were out walking your dog or just out and about in general and one of these monsters hit you on the head. I'm not sure if anybody died during this short event but I bet there was definite injuries. So I'll leave it there and I'll get cracking on another video tomorrow so stay tuned. Legends. Put the backpack on your left.